first step to every cheesecake is a crust. So you're going to take your crackers and you're going to cr um, crush them as best you can. You can use a, a blender if you want. Add your melted butter and your sugar and you're going to mix it around. It should look wet, kind of like wet sand. Okay, and it's okay if it has little crumbs, it's just uh, little pieces, it just can't be that big. Next, you're going to um, pick out your spring foam pan. I'm using a 9 inch right here. And with my spatula, you see I'm just kind of like spreading it around. Okay, just to get an even layer throughout. And then the next thing you're going to see is um, you can grab any flat surface. If you don't have a measuring cup, you can use a flat spatula or, you know, something. It just has to be something flat. And this is my choice, my tool that I decided to use. And I'm pressing down at the same time with my other hand. You see me turning it. And I'm just trying to make sure that uh, the crust is smooth and it's an even layer throughout the entire pan. I set that aside and now we're working on the filling where I'm putting the room temperature cream cheese, the sugar, and all the rest of the ingredients that um, I have listed in my description. As well as the eggs, you know, I tried to beat the sugar and the uh, um, cream cheeses first, you know, just so that they can get incorporated well. Make sure that you do stop and, you know, scrape off the sides because, you know, they tend to just stick on the side. And then, you know, here uh, I add the sour cream, I add the lime juice, I added um, uh, some heavy cream here. And, um, okay, you cannot forget the lime zest and the vanilla extract, okay? Okay, uh, take it out. Okay, just make sure before you take it out, you give it another stir and make sure you have all of your batter well mixed. Then you're going to pour it into your spring foam pan. As you can see, I did not spray anything on my pan because my crust already has enough butter. And the method that I will be using when it comes to baking this is the um, water bath method. Which at this point here, I didn't do it, but you know, you, sh you should do it. I tend to, I usually do do it, but didn't have foil. You wrap the bottom with aluminum foil, okay? And bake one hour. Here now we're working on the icing, which is heavy whipping cream, um, uh, instant um, pudding mix, a little bit of uh, lime juice. And here I am waiting an eternity look it up at you guys but great food <laughs> and you're gonna keep mixing until you get this nice consistency here the instant um, pudding mix helps to hold the consistency or the shape of the um, of the whipped cream usually when you use whipped cream especially the one from a can the moment you pipe it and the moment you put it on it tends to just like flatten it doesn't hold its texture I like to add the um, the, the pudding mix because it'll hold its te texture it makes it more like a frosting now again if, if that's something you don't like you can always not put the pudding mix you can just use the other ingredients and then here I am just spreading it on getting a nice layer on top I had some extra um, limes so I decided to uh, zest the limes Okay, spread it around and here I am trying to be fancy make it look all pretty for my customer <laughs> and I'm just uh, decorating it putting it around and yeah you're gonna cut the, sli the slices thin you don't have to spread them around like this you can always um, just pile them up in the middle I try to look online to for inspirations to see how um, other content creators uh, place their um, limes and dress up their place, their plates so that they can look aesthetically pleasing. And here I am with my final product and I'm so happy with it and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Bye.